Mandas if I'm a product manager for Nuaj ST WAN portal. In this short video, uh, what I will try to explain today is the application routing and control feature which end customer or enterprise customer can access via ST WAN portal. So let's quickly go to the uh, next slide. Uh, this is again the same slide you may have seen in the other videos. Uh, just giving you a quick overview. Uh, this is the Nuage VNS platform, SD-WAN platform with VSD, VSCs, and on top of that, the SD-WAN portal is is basically uh, available for the end customer con consumption. So again, there are many features as you see some of them in the first slide. Uh, the focus of today's video is uh, is more on the application control part, application routing part, and just to save the time, I will not go to the rest of the slide, but I will focus on this slide, which is explaining the different components of the feature and how I am going to also cover in this video demo. Uh, the first part of this one, if you take a look on, let's take a look on this picture here. These are the branch CPEs on this sides, and these are being managed via VSC, VST, and Nuage SD WAN portal. Now, when the the enterprise network is behind these NSGs or CPEs. You can see that. And if somebody wants to send the traffic uh, based on the application, like a voice application or video application or email from this side, they have a choice that they can control how the application traffic will go through the network. They can do it either one way is that using the SLA based approach where they can set up the SLA threshold and then automatically the CPE can decide whether the application should follow this path, which is more, uh, more, uh, you can you can call it more, uh, more good in a nature that it has a low latency because it's IPMPLS network, and there is also a best effort path, which is an internet-based path, and some application can follow this one. The second approach is that it could be a policy-driven path selection that user can set it up that all the time my email should follow this path. There should not be any any SLA threshold, but it, there's also a possible to do the mix and match of both of them. So that's all three possibilities, and we will see that how these can be configured in in portal, especially for enterprise user. The other thing is that the 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 user of this uh, this network can also try to maybe put some rules where they want to only allow the video traffic maybe coming from a certain branch, like a headquarter branch or maybe a certain branch, which does not have the other way of communication. So it, then there is also a concept of application ACL, where you can go and pick up your particular application and you can define that if you want to allow those application to send traffic, uh, if they are coming, either you can do it generally for the whole VPN service or you can pick it up and assign to certain branches that they can they can basically uh, basically rule could be on a branch by branch basis. So just to save the time, uh, one thing I again I want to mention is that the performance measurement because to make this all work, it has to be monitoring the performance for the paths which are possible from branch A to branch B or branch A to branch some other branches. And when we say the performance, it means delay, jitter, packet loss, and also the bandwidth. So these are all these three or four SLA type of attribute, which are constantly measured. And based on those one, uh, decisions are made uh, on the fly or based on the, uh, also the based on the policy as well. Okay, with that, I will switch to, to my port setup in my lab here running. Uh, this is the login page for the ST WAN portal. First up, what I will do is I will log in as a super admin, which is a service provider user, and providing a password. And I'm logging in as a service provider, as I mentioned that. So once I log in as a service provider, I will be taken to the dashboard of the service provider. So I will skip all these other things because the focus is on the application routing. So I will go to the organization page and the organization page, there is a there is a menu item here to define the SLA profile because to do the setup for the application SLAs, if you want to define certain groups of the different application, uh, the way 
Portal has uh, Big Portal has designed this feature is that we are not giving everything in the hands of the enterprise customer. The either it's the administrator of the enterprise customer or it could be the service provider who set it up these profiles in advance. So the profiles are basically uh, they define the SLA threshold. Like I have defined the three uh, profile here. Uh, gold, silver, bronze. You can name them as do you want. You can put up the SLA values as you, these are the threshold values. And you can also say that what is your criteria for the optimization point of view. You want to optimize uh, based on the latency, jitter or packet loss or maybe combination. And then you can also define the what type of the probing. The probing parameters are also you can set it up because if you are using these profile, anybody using this profile, there has to be a constant probing going on for that particular application so that uh, thresholding decisions can be made based on the performance of the path. So with that, uh, one thing which I want to also highlight is that once you define these profile, maybe you don't want to expose all of them to all of your enterprise customer as a service provider. So there is an option that you can choose that which profile will be available to which particular customer. For example, if I click on this arrow, that means there are customer assigned for this one. Like this per customer has access to this profile, GPS network demo. Same, this one has this access to this one. This one doesn't have at this moment, but I can make it a global. So global mean that every customer will have access to this one. If you have a default type of the profile, you can always do that one. No, this is as all organization will have, or all customer will have access to this one. How easy or simple it is, you just need to create a new profile, just click it here, and you can say that, hey, temporary SLA profile. So just give it a name. You wanna set up your color, set up a color here, uh, any funky color you want, and either you make it a default so that this will always be selected when somebody create a group. We're gonna see that how enterprise customers can create a group. So you can set up the values. Right now, I mean, I can, I can go with any numbers here, it doesn't matter, I believe. Uh, because just I'm showing you how easy or simple it is to create a uh, profile. This is the size of the uh, probe. This is the, the now the, you're sending the rates, how you want to send, maybe 10 packets per five seconds, and you maybe use the class for which you want to run this probe. So this is uh, this is pretty much a setup. I, I will create it, although just to show you an idea, this is what I create, similar color, but it's a little different. And I can delete it if I want. As long as it is not assigned to anybody, I can always go back and delete it. So this is how service provider will set up the some SLA profile so the end user can consume them. Now what I will do is that I will now log out as a service provider and I will log back using the same uh, application uh, with the different user, which is the enterprise user and also the enterprise organization name. If you remember, I assign my different profile to this particular GPS network. And if I log in as a as enterprise user, it gives me an enterprise dashboard, which is a bit different, although looks same. Again, you see the menus are different. And if I want to go and create my own application groups, so for example, this is the L3 network main page. And there are two different icons here. One is to create a custom application, if you want to create your own one. And this is the one where you can define your application groups and more specifically application SLA group. So these are some of these one are already defined uh, by someone else in this system. Uh, for example, this automation publication group, it is has three different application assigned to it. And this is has default comes with the Dimage VNS platform. We didn't create it, we didn't assign it. And this is the one which is again a created in and these one are available. Remember one thing, if you have created these profile groups or these SLA groups, once you assign them to any layer 3 VPN, you cannot come and delete them here. You first have to unassign them from a layer 3 VPN, and then you can delete button here. What I will do is, just for the sake of simplicity and cleanness, I will just create a new profile and show you. Now, remember, I am enterprise customer, and enterprise customer, I can set up any groups I wanted. Let's say I set up a uh, voice application group. Let's say voice apps, I can call whatever I want. Uh, card color, I can choose it if I want to. That's my card color is, let's say, let's do a little bit lighter color. And 
I have no option to all those three one remember those are one of them is coming because of it is global the two are specifically assigned to me so I can use because it's a voice applications are important to so the business critical so I can choose the gold one and I recommend it for because there is a description set it up by service provider so it is also a guideline that what should be done and also shows the SLAs only not the probing this is created there in just two three clicks and if I want to assign the applications to it right I can edit it the parameters some of them but application is the next step to do it some of the applications are here like my webex is there here I created that before I can assign it to do it's already now there I can add more application for example I can create a new one like say I want Skype Skype application right and I can name it whatever and here I can say look for Skype a signature click to call or there are many Skype one so I can choose one of that and I can add more parameter if I want to to control this application this one but I will just keep it simple and if I go back Skype is there and I can add here and this is my group is now ready I can use this group to any layer 3 VPN so I have two VPNs here if I see in this one management and this one if I go inside the management one so again these are different branches uh, you can check the other videos to want to see more but this is the area application control is important although this feature is particularly available you can assign it from here application SLA group these two three are already assigned and there are new one available here to be assigned so I can add here very quickly and this is done so this is now ready to go so that's all the step I need to take to set up the application aware routing based on the SLAs no question here is that this is the SLA based one right how I can also do the policy based one so good thing we are already on the page where this setup is done this is the layer 3 VPN service management name and then there is also a special tab here under application control which where you basically can go and define the reference here you can there are some rules already defined but what I will do is I will define these new rules for my new application which I just created so for example my webex and I can say always it should follow the primary path well it may be better to go primary and secondary and I also want to be SLA awareness so I want to combine this one with this one combine both SLA aware as well as it should be policy aware whichever is going to be winner based on the criteria it should be a picking up this one so my webex there but I can add a new rule for example Skype I just created that one and I can choose here that, hey Skype I, I just want to go follow this one or maybe I can have a more spent primary and secondary but I don't want it to be as a layer so it, I just want Skype to always follow this pattern no awareness. so in that case if even if it is a part of AR uh, but this is the enforcement by application policy this will have the more precedence here so these two rules are quickly add this is policy driven as well as the combination in this case is also a mixed mode so that's the application aware routing either based by the SLA or the policy now as I mentioned there is a second aspect that you can also control certain applications right like either you can block them like traffic coming from your network into the into the SD WAN. this is the outbound traffic going from your site as the enterprise customer or it is coming to you this one so you can set up the special firewall type rule here like for example it's again very simple very easy although this is made for the more for policy management which should not be visible to end user or enterprise customer but these are good to have there especially for service provider user if they want to enforce something uh, more manually okay how to add a rule on a paste of application very simple again three things you need to provide well four things you need to provide a rule my webex rule simple as that what i'm saying is that hey pick up the webex here from this one this is just a signature not my custom application but i can define custom application if i have additional attribute there and i can do this rule for a specific direction either i can say that hey my webex if it is coming from any branch but if it is going 
to the, for example, to the local breakout, it's going outside the network, right? Then go ahead and block it, right? That I'm just doing one example. I don't know if it makes sense or not, but that's how it is that, or you can allow it. Maybe it is coming from a particular zone and zone might be one of these zones in this layer 3 VPN. So if it's coming from this zone and going to anywhere, then it's allow it, otherwise drop it. So the rule could be any way you want to define it. And once the rule is defined here, you can see my WebEx rule here, and that's how it is then. You can delete it if you want. So this is how the WebEx going from your network to the SD-WAN network. Same rule, the traffic coming towards your side, you can also set up rules here, and you can change the priority between them if you want to, if you are not happy with the priority set it up by default, because which follows how the rules are added but you can change the priority if you want to. Again, as I mentioned, this is outbound, this is inbound rules, and you can define your rules as you want. Uh, uh, from an end user point of view, it could be your uh, simple firewall type thing, and it is more application oriented. You can define them application oriented, but you can also, as I mentioned, add the network parameters as well, as a part of the application or without the application as well. I think that's pretty much I want to cover in this uh, video and thank you very much for listening and watching.